future Eve here, um, who just totally forgot to film an introduction to this vlog. Basically, this vlog is me moving out of Oxford and moving down to London into my new flat, which I'm in right now. I don't know why I didn't film an introduction for this, but I really, really hope you enjoy it. And yeah, you can just experience the move along with me. So double FYI, like, this video is so bitty. I think it's probably the most bitty vlog that I've ever filmed. So I'm sorry that I didn't film like all the packing and everything because I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to pack whilst mo like, the, like being in uni for the last couple of weeks and like trying to organize the flat, which had some problems sort of going through in the final stages. So it was just a bit of a stressful time. And I was just editing it back now and thinking, this has got no continuity whatsoever, but I hope you enjoy it. And I promise next week's vlog has got a bit more continuity than this one. Everyone, future Eve popping in from the new flat. Here's a bit of a sneak peek, if you like, of the kitchen. Before I started this video, I just wanted to say that it's actually very kindly sponsored by the people over at Love Space. So Love Space is a storage service that can help you store items if you're moving abroad for a year or you're moving like I am from one place to another, or you're just a student who needs your stuff stored from the summer. You name it, they've got a solution for it. So you can do it by the box, or if you've got larger items that need to be stored, you can also rent out a storage unit too. You can even order the packing materials from them, so you don't even have to worry about that aspect. The best part is, you don't even have to transport the boxes anywhere. So they'll come and collect them for free, they'll store them for as long as you need, whether that's a month, whether that's six months, and then when you've decided that you're ready to have your stuff back, you can let them know and they can return as soon as the next day directly to your new location. My experience with them was honestly great as you'll see in this video. It was such a big help to have the boxes picked up and dropped back off. It took so much stress out of the move. The service was convenient and 100% professional and I can only recommend them. You'll see them at work throughout this video. And they've actually hooked me up with a deal for you guys as well. So if you use the code EVE10, you can actually get £10 off their buy the box and storage unit service. So if you're a student that needs to store stuff away, if you're moving, whatever it is, I can only recommend Love Space and I'm so grateful to them for sponsoring this video and helping me out with my move. So without further ado, let's move to London, shall we? So the boxes have come. As you can see, the current state of my room is not good, but we've got the boxes now. So we're ready to start packing. So I'm going to start with miscellaneous things like recipe books, like things that are just sort of random decorative pieces that I don't need kind of anywhere but want to take with me to the flat so yeah it's gonna be a big job and it's gonna take a few days but i'm ready to give it a go so i've ordered i've ordered 20 boxes i think i'm probably gonna need more but the good thing is is you can order more stuff right up until your collection so let's get packing Okay, so this is the progress that's been made. I've packed this box and I've packed these two boxes, but it's just absolutely like, it's that situation where in packing you have to make everything worse before it gets better. I, I, I really don't know how long this is gonna take, but God, I have so much stuff. <laughs> so this is where we're at. We have nine boxes in the walk-in wardrobe. We've got two here got one going on here one here one here it is getting there it is getting there and by the end of today it will be there but guys i hate packing so much and my tree is dying i think it got rot in the root so sad finally all of the boxes are ready to go the driver actually comes up to take them down so you don't even have to take them to the ground floor like they come and get them for you so we just piled them up out here to make it a little bit easier for the guy so that he doesn't have to come in my room like because it's quite narrow and a bit of a pain but yeah these are all my boxes got clothes kitchen stuff records some of them are quite heavy to be fair but as long as they're not so heavy you can't lift them it's fine and then i also have some more down here so we've definitely yeah i mean it's definitely a lot of boxes but it's all packed up now and ready to go The room is all empty and ready to go and I'm so sad. It's been a great year and it's so sad to see the room like this but all good things must come to an end. 
we got up this morning and watched the sunrise, which you'll have seen in the clips before this. So it has been like a very nice end to my time here, but I'm definitely gonna miss this view and the people and basically everything about it. So it's fine, I'm not gonna cry again, I'm not gonna cry again. I cried enough yesterday. Hello everyone, so I'm back home now and today's job is to go through all of my stuff from prelims and st everything and it's all going to have to go. Um, I don't know why I hoard things but I actually just really struggle to throw away notes and things like that like I don't know why I'm never going to use them again but but now my degree is done it's time, it's time for them to go. I still have A-level notes as well like I don't know when I'm going to use those but yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to the moving vlogs. Uh, it's been a week, I've been at home for a week. I'm now just somehow still have more stuff to sort i'm now just basically sorting out a suitcase and a bag to take with me tomorrow because i'm moving tomorrow and the only time i could go and get my keys is 10 30 tomorrow morning so i have to get the train super early and then my mom is coming down later the boxes are coming later tomorrow and then my dad is coming down with the rest of my stuff that i couldn't put in storage in a van on sunday you might be wondering eve why haven't you done like an ikea vlog why haven't you done a moving vlog it's because i've bought nothing i've bought like three things because genuinely i have everything that you really need because we've been living in a flat at uni for a year and like all of the stuff in the kitchen was basically mine so yeah uh i know i look like i have a lot of stuff but it's because i haven't i don't need to buy anything else uh but i still i still do just have an inordinate amount of stuff as well like that is also just the case and i will have to probably do a clear out when i get there but yes <laughs> today is the day i'm about to get the train down to pick up the keys <sighs> i don't know if i'm tired or nervous or both but i feel very sick <laughs> just got here um and i've got a nice little welcome pack how exciting um with some oh my god i literally just bought some of this the other day some of flora some tea oh my god thank god some oh i've actually wanted to try this the the what's it called the lentil pea pasta and some beers happy with that <laughs> probably time to give you an empty flat tour because obviously that is the key part of the video so moving in here we have the bathroom like yeah it's a bathroom it's got a bath it's got a shower it's got a very nice looking shower head by the looks of things actually um and then here we have the bedroom uh nice and spacious i love that was what that was what won it for me it was the old fireplace um yeah so super super nice uh, lots of furniture, lots of storage space, which, as you know, I'm definitely going to need. Then you head through the hallway into the living room. This will be where the TV goes. I'm probably going to move the sofas forward a bit because they're, they're quite far away from the TV because the rugs are really cute. And yeah, the view, lots of light, nice big windows. And this is where all my records are going to go, my vinyl. It's going to be amazing. Look how pretty this is. Like, this is going to be perfect for all my records and everything. Love, love, love. Then finally you come up the stairs and here we have the kitchen. Very exciting. Love it. I have a toaster, but it's at home. So I'll have to wait till Sunday to have toast, but I will go and get a kettle today. Um, but yeah, I mean, gorgeous view, skylight, washing machine. So I'm, oh, Oh my god, it's a tumble, it's a built-in tumble dryer. It's a built- <gasps> I'm crying. <laughs> so I didn't know if the flat came with a kettle toaster, etc. We already had a toaster from the flat at uni, 
but it doesn't come with a kettle and a microwave. So I've ordered a microwave that matches the toaster because I because I am that sort of person that's coming tomorrow. But I feel like a kettle is kind of quite urgent. So I'm going to pop to the big Tesco's down the road and see if they've got one. We also need bins. So I'm going to go on the search basically for bins and a kettle. And we also only have one dining room chair, which I wasn't expecting. So I need to figure that one out. <laughs> So Love Space have delivered the boxes and I very stupidly, the door slammed shut on my keys. Like I had the keys with me, but I just could not get the door to open. So I had to part all the boxes into the frigging, what's the gate into the hall. I'm literally sat here waiting for my mother to arrive because I actually can't carry boxes this length. So yeah. <laughs> slowly stocking up the fridge although i will not be shopping at sainsbury's on the regular because the prices are obscene all my food from uni is coming up on sunday so i don't need to get too much and yeah and these are the beers that they got me for free and my mum came with lots of gin and tonics so <laughs> Sorry I've not vlogged that much today. Me and my mum were just trying to get through. She had to go at lunchtime. So we were just sort of going through the packing. Please ignore the un the undried curtain bang. I cannot find my round brush anywhere. So it's giving it's giving Lord Farquaad, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um so my Wi-Fi box just came, so I'm just trying to set that up. But while I'm waiting for it to kind of connect, I am just gonna quickly pop to Lidl because I have parcels coming all afternoon, but I have like an hour's gap now where I don't have a parcel coming, so I need to go and do a bit of a food shop. Like, not a proper one, but just, like, I need some other bits, need some bin bags. So, basically, I'm going to head to Lidl, come back, set the Wi-Fi up, upload a video for this evening, and then carry on unpacking. This is the current state of affairs. It is getting there, to be honest. I have actually not got that much more to unpack, but I have boxes coming tomorrow as well um from home not much just like essential things um so i want to get all of this unpacked today and bags for charity shops sorted today so that it's sorted um anyway yes but i will go to little now <laughs> i will go to little now that sounds very weird highlights of my little shop include 10 pack of diet coke ofs i got this ready meal for myself for dinner because i obviously don't want to like be running around cooking today to be honest i got some bagel thins got some nons as well i got some of these because i used to love them in first year and i really don't want to cook today so i got one of these for my lunch and then i got some gravy and some batteries some hand soap very exciting <laughs> hey oh i'm so sweaty i have to say i'm so glad there's a little because if there wasn't and i went i went to sainsbury yesterday i actually could have cried with how expensive everything was whereas the little does all the branded products that i like but it also is not ridiculously expensive and it has loads of good like little alternatives. So yes, I'm very happy about that. So the bedroom is looking somewhat more livable now. Got a couple things left to unpack, but I'm definitely getting there. So I'm happy about that. And this vlog here because I am going to carry on into next week, like my first week actually living in London. I still have so much I need to do tomorrow, um, but hopefully by the end of tomorrow i should be more or less done so it's kind of worth just getting it all done over a few days but i'm just gonna chill now um yeah but i really hope you've enjoyed this video crazy that i'm now living in london i don't think i've really processed it yet because i've been so busy unpacking but let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see from me over the summer um and yeah i'll see you very soon with a new video bye guys Mwah.